Hi guys, so today I am going to play nine of my favourite Neopets games. Well, on Neopets. Um, not really good at these games, but I do enjoy playing them, so I'm just going to get started. I have all my tabs on here, so there won't be any delay like some of my other videos did have. So yeah, um, I'm going to see which one. I'm honestly not really good at these games. Wait, okay, I'm gonna start off with test your strength. This is quite easy, but for some reason I like it. Like, all I gotta do is press this, right? And I should get a prize, and it says I have a glaring eye wrap, which I have seen quite a lot before, so I don't think it's worth a lot, but still, that was cool. Alright, I'm just gonna go into Wingo Ball. Now, I have. Um, I don't think I've completed all of it, as you can see. My high score is 692. Um, and yeah, so I haven't completed all of it, but I would like to. So let's see if I can do it this time. Now, the aim of this game is just to literally get the ball over, this red ball over, to the other side. And these plants will bounce, will make your ball bounce to other places, as well as these gomes. So if my ball touches these green gums, it would just bounce back to myself. So I have to try to avoid them by going to the side and timing it right because they will move. And these red ones, um, these ones will make you start all over again. So you just got to be careful that. Actually, it's pretty easy, and it's actually quite easy. But all you gotta do is. Just find the right spots. I'm sure there are videos on YouTube, you know, on how to do it and stuff. So, it really isn't that hard. And actually, you get quite a lot of new points for it for such a small mark work. And you have to do as fast as possible as well. Um, because you get more points that way. Like that. 21 points. You just keep. Yeah. Well, this one's hard. I can never remember how to do this. Oh, yeah. I mean, I could look it up on YouTube if I wanted to, but I feel like it takes fun away from it. Oh, I'm gonna lose. Oh. This is so annoying. Oh! Okay, so I got 252 near points for just a few clicks of my button, so that's quite good. Um, oh, this is Advert Attack. Now, if you haven't played it, this is actually one of the classic games on the FX. It's so early 2000s. Like, the graphics is so, like, it's just so early 2000s. Like, you wouldn't find that in today's games. Like, it's quite blurry and all that. And basically, the aim of the game is to get rid of all the adverts that show up by clicking the cross. Wait, so hold on. I'm going to put the music on. Is there music here? Oh, you click go. And then, once there's an advert, you just... You either ignore it, or you click the cross... Close the advert. And you've got to get there before the other spaceship does. So I'm the red spaceship. And I have to get there before the blue one does. And there's, well, a time bonus as well. So my high score is 748. Which is okay considering like other high scores. Like actual high scores are like 800 and something. Usually I try to ignore these um, things, but it's kind of annoying, like, as long as I can, but if it just gets in my way, then I just remove it. I know it's very tempting to just close my wall, that wastes his time. Sorry, I can't speak to it, wastes time. So yeah, you have 50 seconds to do it, so I think that's quite good. 
And you want to make sure you click on no. So if there's an option of yes or no, you click no. Because if you click yes, then another ad will, will pop up. Oh, so annoying. Lovely way to this game. Like, who would have thought to use adverts to create a game? Ah. Hate the big ones. I think I have beaten this game quite a few times, so it's not actually that hard. Um, and it's funner than it looks. So you see I'm just literally clicking a button, but actually it's quite fun. Doesn't quite much effort at all. I'm gonna zoom on onto the games because if you're watching on mobile phone and I'm not sure if you can see this properly. Yeah, hopefully you can see it now. Oh god, that blue spaceship is going really fast. Ah. Oh god, this is annoying. That train is square though. I I'm with my pets. I have four pets. And they're still in training school just because I can't afford to give them um the fee. So the fee is like the stones, right? The green stones. I don't know what they're actually called. But the green stones. And I don't plan on buying them until I have like two million year points. Because I want to make a two million year points video and that will take absolutely ages. Like my one million near point video took like three weeks to get there. That's why I didn't post videos for so long. I'm not sure if I have a patience really, so it's gonna take ages. And by the way, I don't really like use Battle Dome or whatever it's called. Oh sorry for swearing. Where is it? See, this is how annoying the game is. I got a people. Oh gosh. I remember I used to play Neopets in the library. I'm from the UK. And I used to play in the library with my siblings. And it was really fun. We have like a children's section and we just play Neopets. Like each of us would play one round of like so. I think it's called Ice Cream Game. I can't remember what it's actually called. Basically that game where you have to like dodge your ice cream balls. So that was quite fun. It's good memories. Can't recall playing this one. Probably have. But it was probably too intense for me to play. So this game isn't that hard, you know, even though I can do it. I bet blue spaceship is going ridiculously fast. I know it's really tempting to just chase all of them, but don't, because that will waste time and you do have very limited amount of time, especially towards the end. Oh, so annoying. I'm gonna lose. Seven hundred and fifteen, okay. So that's worse than my high score. See how many near points I get? I got four hundred and thirty-six near points for well seven hundred and fifteen points. So that's okay I guess. I can buy what can I buy four hundred? So nothing I want to. I want to collect stamps. I'm gonna I'm gonna show you my stamp collection by the end of this video. But I've been collecting stamps recently. You can't really buy a lot of stamps for 436. Usually ones I want to buy are like, I don't know, like just loads, like 20,000, 100,000, something like that. So, yeah. But this game is called Fairy Bubbles. I'm sure it's actually quite a popular game, so I'm sure 
literally everyone who's playing near point pets in the past like a decade ago two decades ago even have heard of this game so i've been playing this game since i was very young i heard of this victory as well okay basically if you haven't played this game before it's when you have to match these balls you get to the colours here. So I have a yellow one, I just want to match the other yellow ball here. And once there are three matching ones, it drops down and you can do the level. Just keep doing it until all the balls have hopefully disappeared. More difficult than you think actually. So at the start you have this red line here, which well basically just tells you where it's gonna go. Um it's kind of obvious this game is for like literal children, but I like it. And yes, as this gets lower and lower, you will lose either. So once, sorry, I can't speak. Once these balls touch this red bar here, the game is over. So you want to clean them up before it does, before this dark blue part um, sinks any further. Um, okay. I don't think, if I remember correctly, I don't think this game gives you a lot of near points. That's maybe because they haven't changed like the near points, like how much near points you get since this game was created. I mean, there is inflation. I think it sounds crazy, but I'm pretty sure there is inflation on the inputs. Now, the yellow star in the wall just means that it replaces whatever it, it changes the whatever color you want it to be. So if I put this to a white ball, it changes to white and drops all. In. Um, the dark combo is nasty, avoid it, but basically once you have a specific amount of purple balls, um, it, they all turn into a different colour, so. Anyway, I'm pretty sure that's what they do, I'm not sure. Ah, I'm gonna lose. Okay, so that's terrible. High school's are like 8,000 to me. I got 125 year points. It's not very good. Can't buy anything with that. Right, so this is... Oh my gosh, this game is old. This is Hoover's Hero Heist. This game was created in 2003, as you can see here. And I remember playing it when I was like 7. And I'm... 7 or 6, and I'm 19 now, so very old. As you can see, it's such a small game as well. You can see all these grey spaces, that's how much big games are supposed to be, this so one's tiny. But anyway. Basically, the aim of the game is to get rid of these monsters and then collect the fruits afterwards. And these monsters can attack you if you're not careful. So, oh my gosh, I can't even do this. But, uh, I can't believe I lost one. Though. Basically, you press space until they get small and then, like, walk over them. I'm pretty sure that's what you do. Yeah, walk over them and make a squishing noise and quickly collect the fruit because that gives you extra points. And if you don't, then you don't. So, yeah. Just, like, ugh. It's not, the fruits aren't as important as say, like, you don't have to collect them. But it's just nice to. Do. I think you have like 10 seconds. I looked up online and you have like 10 seconds to collect the stuff. Multiple levels. Ugh, oh, so annoying. See, these, what are they called? They look like, um, you know the ones with brains? They are actually like really. They're the easiest ones because they don't actually attack you. Oh, get out of my way! Free's gonna disappear for God's sake. And it's very good because like there isn't a limit of like how much you can press space to do to them. Because I know in some games like there's a limit to like the amount of damage you have you can do at a specific time. But this is literally just like you, know, you press on it again and again. Oh, I lost a life. Okay, so these shoes, shoes, shoes. 
Are you kidding? I'm dead. I was gonna say those chivalries have like a special thing because um they have weapons that can hit you unlike all these other neopets. And I failed. And I had 64 new points for like, how long did I get it? Two minutes maybe? Not sure. So yeah. It's a fun game. It's very 2003. So if you want to go back in time and play this song, this game was probably made before some of you were even born. Like, I'm not sure if you watched my videos. There are people watching for us. But some of this was made before you guys were born. So yeah, it's not a pretty. And it's fun to all. Okay, I remember playing this game, I was finishing when I was really young, like I don't think it's pretty much all the games, but this is, they're my favourite games for a reason, like, sorry, they're my favourite games for a reason, and that reason is because I've been playing since I was really young, I literally remember playing I was finishing when I got into this really high level, I can't remember which one it was, but I got into this really high level when I was like 7, and I was really proud of myself, um, I'm thinking that it's a cheat code, so you type right now, it's like strawberry, vanilla, chocolate or something, you can make that if you want to. You get an extra life, but I'm not going to do that because I can't be bothered. So I'm just going to turn this on and play the game. So if you haven't played this before, basically all you got to do is dodge the ice ball. Oh gosh, I'm pretty sure I looked up what the minus is and plus size um, balls mean. But I forgot, I'm pretty sure, I'm just going to avoid it in general. I think the plus is good. So as you can see, you can minimise your chia to be smaller. And that's really helpful. So, yeah, try to get those. Don't give them one that makes it bigger, because that's going to make it hard to use the balls. Ah! Oh, yeah. good. Okay. I'm pretty sure there's like a fish ball as well. Take that, because you can see it's the point. And there's a red... Um, I think all that basically stops the game for like one second, which is actually quite good because it stops ice cream balls as well. <laughs> so you still have to keep doing it until you, well, die. You have three lives to so make that thing work. Actually, you can get extra lives. Like, there are these two ice cream balls. I know they are pretty much lot. It's like light pink. And if you get it, then you get an extra life. But sometimes it's not really worth it. So be careful. Oh, and there's a shield as well. There's so many. There's a shield. Um, like this. Basically, it just shields me away from everything for three seconds, which is very nice. Mint. I love this thing. The music is so. Oh, it's just such a funny music. Extra life. Ignore the chocolate topping stuff and what they say like in the background. It's, it's pretty much meaningless. It's fair to distract the caramel topping. It's always saying all I can do is are gonna kill you. So just keep doing it. Ah, I'm not that. Blueberry. I wonder if I actually had blueberry ice cream. Oh, gotta be, gotta be careful. I think I had blueberry ice cream. I had blue ice cream. Let me just make it up. I've had mint ice cream before, but that was like chocolate chip. Oh god. And you see how many scoops you have by looking at the bottom. I'm not going to look at it because, well, I'm trying to focus. So sometimes they go over, so that level was supposed to have 125, but I should have like 150. So this one is going to have 150 scoops that I have to dodge. So let's see. Woo! This saves me a lot. Because these are getting really fast. But I have three eyes, so... Whatever. 
Wir haben Kuchen von YouTube gebraucht. Ich bin es. Ich bin nur ein paar Punkte, wo ich das sehe. Like, how much new points you get, if you get a lot, a little bit of pain. Like, this game is a lot better, I'm not gonna lie. Like, some games out there, literally, like, you know, you don't have to do anything. And they give you, like, 300 new points, so you literally just have to click a button. And these kind of games, you have to do so much, and you usually don't even get that many. It's probably even in a bit. I'm gonna try and type in the sheep first, see if I get an extra life. Oh yep, I got an extra life! So I typed in strawberry, vanilla, chocolate here, and I got an extra life. So yeah, top tip. See if I can begin. I'm not sure you can type it twice. No. Yeah, two lives. Ow. This is so painful. How many scoops do I have? I can't even look at how many scoops I have left. Oh. I love shields. Hopefully I'll pass this level, have like 30 scoops here. Sugar! Sugar, sugar, sugar. Yes, peach! I hardly ever get to peach. Peach, oh, peach. Oh my god! I'm gonna die. Yeah. Alright, I'm dead. So 5,218. Oh my god, that's my high score. Yes, oh, I only got like 359 new points. So yeah, this game is definitely for like more for entertainment than actually getting new points. Yeah, moving on. This game has a load. I'm just gonna refresh this game. Um, spell with but I do also play this game quite often. I genuinely like them, things I'm telling you. Um, the spell with star, and both of you have to like make up words, are the characters, sorry, the letters they give you. So I'm just gonna do easy because I can't spell and I don't want to do the other one. Um, and you basically just have to like click on these until you form a word and obviously you want the word to be as long as possible so I got sand off here I'm not sure if there's anything else you can do sand oh there's a time limit or five minutes five minutes time limit sand okay I think sand is okay so it works yeah you just have to do enough so that it unlocks the key and you can like get to it Some. I usually only do like words with like three letters in. Which I think is kind of embarrassing because this game is for literal children. Okay, um. Uh. Sand is then a word. What is that word? Sand. That's it. Not a word. Sand. How about oh, okay. okay, so you can get this for like an extra point. Oh, what the hell are you Again. Again. Uh, 
and let me Oh, I can't do it. I'm such a bad piece I'm in such a bad mood. I don't want to make a video. I'm in a bad mood, but... What are we supposed to do? Oh, I can't think of anything! Dude! I can't see it on the screen, I just work. Like, like, I'm a fart, because... I need to the other words, so that's not... Lead. Lead's a word. Oh, I'll show you this. BR. Oh, car. Oh, it replaced the character. Oh, cool. So, car. I don't think I can do any other words. Oh, God. I actually can't. Right, punk, so I'm going to give up and pretty much. 34 points, oh god. And I have 30 points, that's great. Oh, okay. I'm getting a spinnacle. Oh, I love this game. Well, I missed this game, I want to show you guys. Sorry, now it's like 10 of my favorite games. So, this, that's good. This is spinnacle. I think I'm pretty sure this is a new game. Oh, wait, no, it was game for me. It looks much more fun than the other games. Um, basically, you just gotta like match these walls to like drop them all down. It gets harder and you know, more balls are made. And you can do this, I feel like it's a game to lose really stress. So it's not like really hard, I guess. I don't think you get more near points. But yeah, you, yeah. Stress really in game. Oh, I want to show you something. Basically, if you bump your ball to the ground and then it just keeps bouncing up and up and up, it eventually disappears. So if you want to make it all disappear, that's what you do. It doesn't work all the time though. Like, I'm going to try it now. So if you just let it bounce for ages. But yeah, just trust me. If you just like make it bounce for ages, eventually disappear. And you press space if you want to change the, um, the order of the ball, so as you can see here. Grey, green, I don't have grey, green. Oh, so I'm getting bored of this game. What you can do is just keep doing it until you lose, and you lose when, like, it becomes too big, basically. And you can see now, it's becoming too big. And I'm gonna lose. Just keep pressing it and yeah, it's going on. I've got 42 more points, so like 2 minutes of work. Not good, but it's definitely good, definitely. Now, this game, I only started playing like 2 minutes ago. I found it through um, what's called Best Venue, and if you don't know what Best Venue is, Basically, this feature on Neopets where you have to do better than what someone says they can do. Someone got like 2,000 ish points. And you just have to beat them, and then you get tricky, and you get some new points, more new points. So, you how, like, when you how you do compared to other people. Um, when I tried, I didn't get 2,000, obviously, as you can see here. Um, so actually, it's quite fun. Though. It's kind of like Tetris. I guess you just have to make them, like, disappear. So, yeah, that's how you make them disappear. Just keep pressing them and then 
Once you see one that has like a border around, it means that I can make other um, fruits of that color just a bit. So just put it here. And it gets to a bigger ball. And when it gets into like a bigger fruit, um, you actually get like extra points for that. So try to make them as big as possible. I'm not sure if I can show you. It doesn't always happen me, but yeah, you can see them getting bigger here. Just, and yeah, you can make them like really big, but it's really hard because there are other fruits in the way and stuff. So yeah. Now you should just like to like press the down button so it goes down faster because I really don't have time to like wait. And these actually do fall faster as the levels go on. So try not to. Okay, I'm gonna get rid of these purple ones. Fruits look so weird. Okay, I know that's such a random thing to say, but these fruits creep me out. Especially with purple one. Oh gosh, okay, so we have a new fruit now. I think I'm gonna lose very well. I doubt any of you will see me playing this for ages. High score is like 1,234. So hopefully I can go past that. Ah. Right, I'm gonna lose. I'm just gonna like get rid of all this. Oh, purple fruit, purple fruit. Orange, sorry. Looks like a peach. A weird peach. Oh yes, and I'm gonna show you guys my stamp album collection. Quite proud of it, got quite a few stamps. Um, and I do prefer doing stamp rather than cards, because for cards, you can put like, as many of the same cards you want in your card deck. Whereas for stamps, you can only put one of each. So that's kind of easier for me to navigate because I literally made a card section one day and it turns out I had like three cards with like the same thing. And I was like, why do we have like some sort of thing that stops that from happening? So yeah, stamps definitely. And there's more to do with stamps. There's more stamps anyway. But I like 700 something stamps. Some of them are honestly really rare to obtain. I looked them up and some of them don't really have like prices on them, um, Jelly Neo, because. They're just so rare and so expensive. Um, oh. okay, but I did get one of the most expensive ones the other day because I completed, if you watch one of my other videos, I actually completed a, um, what's it called, a treasure map piece. And that cost me a lot and in return for having all the pieces I got a shell which was something of a stamp of and was worth billions it was worth, worth a lot and you know it's very hard to get and I got it through doing the map piece so I guess if you guys want to take a gamble and I think all the prizes are different each time you complete the treasure map but if you have enough near points and you don't have anything else to do with your money and you want to take a gamble that's what you can do I guess just Continue to buy treasure map pieces and continue to try to get more rare stuff. Um, a lot of people say it's not worth it though, because obviously your prices are different each time. But yeah, if you have enough new points, just go through that. Um, a reveal roundup. Oh, okay, reveal, reveal roundup. Oh, happens in needles. Sorry, that's so random. Okay, basically this game is when you. Just click all this stuff. Using your mouse. See what you have to click and then just do it. A lot of people have like a specific order to as like fast as they can, but I don't. This is I'm not really I don't really care. I mean it's just a game. I'm not gonna do some strategy to try and get the highest score. Oh gosh, wait, how do I get that? I have to go through others. Yeah, so you get the gist, you just gotta keep like walking and walking and walking until you get 
Spielgang. And how much time you spend doing your first level impacts on how much time you get for your second level. So if you do your first level really, like you take a lot of time, then your, in your second level you have less time to do stuff. So yeah, just make sure you do it as fast as you can if you want, of course. I'm missing a pig. Oh gosh. Where are my little piggies? Let's be here. I think there are only like three levels here. So yeah, just keep like be aware of that. And if you actually click the wrong item, you have to like um you have to go back to the monster, which is like where you originally started to give it back and start all over again. Oh god, so as the levels get on, we have more to collect. That's one burst, I'm just gonna click that now. And I'm running out of time before you finish this, but it's a fun game. I think you get a lot of near points from well work you do, which is obviously not a lot, you just gotta go around. Oh gosh, I don't want to click that. So if you get the wrong item, I think you lose some points as well. So, best not to do that. Okay, one more, one more, one more. Where is it? Oh my gosh, where is it? I am going to lose. Oh my gosh. Oh, yes. 121. Finished it. And I have 254 points, so that's quite good. So now I'm just going to show you my stamp album. I'm just show it here. Um, so yeah. I have. I think some. I think I have like six or something. Oh no, six. I have 198 stamps, all of which I bought like on impulse when I had enough near points. So once I get to like a hundred thousand year points, I'm gonna like spend more on stamps, or maybe like a million year points. I don't know. But yeah, I'm just gonna, gonna like that's what I'm focusing on at the moment. Everyone has different points, and that's what I'm doing at the moment. Um, so I hope you have enjoyed this video. And oh wow, this is in the center now. That's weird. Anyway, I hope you have enjoyed this video, and um, subscribe. Uh, and well. I've disabled the comments, but I might enable it this time. And yeah, look forward to seeing you in my next video.